So my name is Breno, and today I'm presenting Flex Class. That's classes with dynamic array size for everyone. Or if you know the feature in C called Flexible Array Members, we're bringing that to C++. So my story starts with make shared of an array of T with N elements. So this function has a very nice property that it creates a big block of memory and puts the control block of the shared pointer in right at the beginning, and then put the every element you know, right next to it. And then returns a shared pointer that will handle this, uh, this memory. However, in my application, I could not afford to have such a big control block. I just, I needed a slightly different control block with a ref count and a size. So I just wanted them nicely packed in eight bytes and also store the size to know how many elements in the array already had, right? So since the SDE make share did not allow me to customize that, I had to write it myself. So how do you do that? Okay, it sounds simple, right? Because I already described the algorithm. First, you allocate a very big chunk of memory to hold the control block and the n times size of t. Then you go with this blob of memory and cast it to a control block, initializing it with a placement new or whatnot. Then you do the same thing for each t, and then you return some shared pointer that will uh, handle this block for you. And then you start thinking about the details, right? What about the alignment? Maybe I didn't get it right. Did, did those uh, reinterpret casts, uh, are those safe? I don't know. Uh, what if any of those constructors throw? Did I do the right thing? And you start wondering why you're suffering so much manipulating bytes and to do that. So Flex class is just a tool in the shed. You, you may not uh, need it always or, or maybe even uh, very rarely, but when it, when it helps you, it helps you, right? It, it really had, uh, makes things simpler. So let's see how to implement this using Flex class. First, you create a block. You put in the size of the ref count in there, and then you declare that you want an adjacent array to this block of size of, of, of element D called data. And then you communicate that to the library using this member function called uh, FC handles, where you pass in the, the pointers to whatever handles you have in your block. You want them to be filled up. And then you implement make sure by calling make a block and pass in, in, the, in the parentheses there the number of elements in the first um, in the first array that you want. And then to init initialize the block itself, you put in an extra parentheses and then you initialize size with n and the ref count with zero. Then you just have to uh, handle that uh, block with some wrapper. The code generation looks quite good. It just allocates once and fills up the, your size in the ref count for you. In this example, it was an int array, so it doesn't initialize the each int. And you can access the array, the adjacent array, by using the handle that you have. So you can call begin, and you can get, get to the end with block uh, size. And after you have that, you can start expanding on it, right? So um, you could have many arrays right next to your to your data structure, right? So in this case here, um, with this make full, I'm initializing an array, uh, three arrays, the first was, uh, three strings, then 17 ints, then eight folds, all um, with one call. So the library supports non-trivial types, multiple arrays, it does the alignment of all those arrays uh, correctly for you. It supports exception safety. So if any of those constructors throw, it will destroy whatever was created in the reverse order. And um, also have support for allocators and customizable handles. You see that I have range and array and adjacent array. There are many types of handles that you might want. And more. So. Thank you. Uh, my name is Breno, and this was FlexQuest.